Welcome to the uh, presentation on DocuNet, uh, a solution for electronic document capture. Let's talk a little bit about um, the capture scenario historically. We, we've had documents on, on um, paper that have been received and sent to a centralized scanning function where they're uh, indexed and distributed. We've also had business applications producing electronic versions of green bar reports uh, where those reports can be um, indexed and, and distributed out to uh, different operating functions for review. The, as time has gone on, the, the, the current capture scenario is slightly different. Vendors and business partners are really um, putting a big emphasis on, on passing information to companies electronically to obviously save distribution costs. Um, that can be via email, via FTP sites, via um, websites. Um, so there's a number of ways that people are passing information. So that there's a big push for companies to, to cover their bases with the number of channels in which they're capturing documents into their document management systems and business applications. A, a document really is just still um, a way to carry data from one place to another. So the ability to intelligently extract the information from that document is critical and pass it off to subject matter experts around the business so they can approve and verify the information before we're distributing it to a third party business application or document management system, whether that be SharePoint or EMC's application extender or D6 um, via web services to an accounting system or, or some ERP system or back out to the web or a file share. You need to distribute that information information so it can be accessed. There's also a push on compliance as well. So there's a lot of compliance standards, laws and regulations around documents that we really need to comply to. And it, it's easy to see paper documents because they're in filing cabinets and warehouses, but it's the documents that you can't see that, that are a primary concern here, whether stuck in email um, archives or, or file shares or people's local drives or USB drives. We need a way of, of bringing that information to the central um, centralized re uh, retention policies can be applied and they can be brought under control by a centralized system and that's where, where DocuNet uh, plays a, a critical role. So DocuNet really is a, a, a platform to capture more than just paper. The, the life, cycle, life cycle with um, with DocuNet is, is really about capturing, indexing and distributing the information. So take that one step further. Let's talk about a little bit about where the, the documents come from. They can be stuck on users' desktops, email servers, uh, hidden in network-based file shares. They can be stored on the web, network-based scanners or business applications. Then we need to intelligently extract that information before providing the business the ability to approve and, uh, and verify that information before we put it into its third-party uh, uh, final resting place again whether that be a document management system uh, the web or back out to a file share or a business application so let's delve into the capture on the desktop a little bit we can um, have uh, a virtual print driver so any application we have the ability to print you can print directly to DocuNet and that brings up an indexing wizard allows you to select a type of document in this case we're selecting a loan document I can do a database lookup or whatever uh, other the rules that um, that, uh, that this particular docking type requires and then you know I can pass it off to the central system. I can also highlight documents directly from my desktop and use the send to function in Windows to send directly to the desktop capture function where again I can select the document type in this case an invoice I have a different set of indexing values again I can do uh, database lookup and pass that off to the, the, the back end system. Or I can drag and drop uh, documents and attachments from Microsoft Outlook into uh, a little green opaque window there that uh, again brings up the uh, indexing interface. Another great function of DocuNet is, is to um, set up a distributed scanning system. So DocuNet allows you to print a barcode of your Active Directory username. Um, I can then put that on the front of a batch of documents, go to the scanner copier, scan them in, um, DocuNet will then process that information, uh, read the barcode, um, email me back with a, a URL and a link to the document where I can use the web-based tool to, to verify the data, the information has been extracted. Again, I can apply those extraction rules and then I can verify the information and then pass it off to the back-end system. So a great cost-effective way to, uh, you know, enterprise-wide to um, set up a, a distributed scanning system. I can also capture documents from file locations. This is quite a popular way to, to use DocuNet for actual migration of documents into a third party document management system, for example. I can recurse down folder structures. I can um, capture specific document types, specific folders. 
um, I can then apply business rules around the name and the folder structure of the document or a third-party database or the content of the document and we'll talk a little bit about that uh, later on in the presentation. I can capture documents from email. We've got direct integration with Microsoft Exchange with user or group accounts. We also support IMAP and POP3 email accounts. And this is a great way to set up a, you know, an invoicing at company.com email address where you can you know, encourage vendors to send information to that email address. And then that's passed off to a, a particular process in DocuNet where they can be reviewed and approved. We can capture documents from the web. Quite often documents are posted through lockboxes or third-party websites and we can use web services or an API-based interface to grab that information automatically, again bringing it into uh, the indexing uh, paradigm so we can then verify the information. So indexing, extracting the business information. So wherever we're, we're capturing the documents from, whether it be from the desktop, one of our desktop tools, whether it be automatically from you know, a third party source, we can then funnel it through the same uh, indexing rules. So we, we have still have uh, the concept of uh, batch based indexing. A document can be quite high volume. So documents travel through DocuNet as a batch of documents and as it travels through this process it's all audited and the history is stored for, um, for, for traceability and reference further down the line. Um, so here, here's an example of a, a batch based interface where I can go in and I can select batches are in error or I can batch that's just been created and I can go through and look at the contents of the back batch and see that uh, in this case some the invoice of number has not been assigned but the others have been assigned automatically for using business rules so it's just a great way to, to monitor the process and the documents as they go through this capture indexing and distribution life cycle so this is the batch based indexing interface um, you can support image based documents office documents pdfs and xml um, for documents it doesn't support there's a download link so you can support it with some other third party application you can index it on the left uh, if I need to, I can then escalate this to um, an error batch or, or send a message to another um, administrator or subject matter expert so they can help me with the indexing process. So it's a very collaborative approach to uh, document indexing. In terms of the automated data extraction, we can extract and apply rules on the content from Office documents, uh, that's 2003, uh, 2007 and 2010, text, HTML, XML, PDF and PDF form documents. We've got a powerful OCR engine that also extracts text from PDF and TIFF image documents and we can extract data from an external reference text file or we've got a powerful database lookup functionality where we can extract database from a third party database engine either via a store procedure or a query or, or some, some other mechanism that we can do that but uh, again a very powerful data mapping tool that, that we can grab that information or we read a number of barcode technologies including um, you know the the typical uh, sort of code 11 code 39 barcodes or we can do the 2d barcodes like the data matrix or PDF 417 we can apply uh, templates for for extracting content from you know uh, typical documents or documents that receive a number of times so for example we set up templates for different vendors here for for our invoicing example um, so that's a great way to uh, apply consistent rules to consistent templates We've got a conversion of watermarking engine. Sometimes documents come in in a format that you don't want to archive. You want to archive it in maybe a PDF format. So we can do Postgre to PDF, Adobe uh, PDF to TIFF. We can do Office documents to PDF. We can add watermarks to PDF and TIFF documents. And we can split, combine, and compress TIFF and PDF documents. This is a great way, and this is all rules-based. So this is a great way to you know, do report uh, management to uh, Documentum and, uh, and other products. And when we distribute the documents, we can push it off to a third-party docket management system, uh, EMC's application extender or D6 or SharePoint, or we can do to a third-party uh, docket management system or, or business application, I'm sorry, through web services. Um, we have a distribution framework that easily allows the integration um, of custom applications, so you can really get uh, kind of everything in. So for more information, visit our website, portfordsolutions.com, and uh, check out for, for more of the actual uh, live demonstrations. Thank you.